how will the year 2022 be for you if you are number four born on 4th 13th 22nd and 31st of any given month in terms of 2022 if you are curious to know about your relationships career growth and much more with my suggestions then stay with me Hi everyone, this is Jaya Karam Chanani. Welcome to Invincible Passion Talk Show where every week I share with you some of my insights, some of my thoughts and experience about your birth numbers and the planets that not only impact you personally but impact your living spaces as well. Before I share further, quickly hit the subscribe button and join our Invincible family where I look forward to your support and comments. Although, if you have not subscribe to my other channel Junoon please take a look as well now let's talk about how will this 2022 be for you my first advice would be do not write this year as 22 remember 2020 added to 4 if you write 22 it adds to number 4 which is the number of extremities especially this year 2022 I want you to pay attention because it will be easy it will be very easy for you or for the sake of ease you might just write 22 then you are harnessing number four. Well, number four, as I said, could be giving you two flavors this year. Either if you felt your work was stuck or there were blocks in life, suddenly you will feel unstuck. You will feel things are just shaping up. On the other end, if you felt your things were moving in a good flow and suddenly you will feel there are hiccups. For that, what you got to do is this year, Make sure that you have the habit of maybe you're too conservative or you are too self-centered or you are focused on your lifestyle or you like things in a certain way. This year I'll say be practical. Bring some flexibility. So in terms of career, this year will give you a lot of support, a lot of opportunities and to monetize those and make sure you get Support from that. What you got to do is start supporting your juniors. It's an amazing tip based on my many years practice and experience. If you want to maximize the potential of this year, then start supporting those who support you and your juniors and you'll find support from the numbers, particularly numbers six and eight, you'll find a lot of support this year. In terms of relationships, the same thing, try to loosen up. Try to support others and understand from their perspective. You may not intend bad or wrong, but the way you come across, it might hurt others' feelings. So watch out, how are you communicating and use polite words and get realistic. You will find support as the flavor of this year is sex, the love, the romance. So if you felt some misunderstanding or there was a stretch in relationship this is the year to mend those relationships by watching how you speak and understanding with others so if you are finding opportunities if you are practical you are supporting money will be good you can look forward to some great income however it all depends on you how you monetize this year let's talk about health health is wealth isn't it this year what I noticed during my analysis is I would say Pay attention to your blood pressure. You end up having some digestive issues or the gassy stomach. So what you can do as a remedy also and for health, again, make sure it's, it's supporting your health and no restrictions by your medical professional. You can use green leafy vegetables. Do some yoga or do some meditation that will really support you very well. So if you are going to use colors, use the family of yellow colors or ash gray avoid absolutely dark colors the days you will get most support is friday and sunday and wednesday six and eight are going to support you however keep the southwest direction clean this is the saying that if you keep your southwest clean free from clutter 90 percent of your house vastu is balanced so if you want support it's coming your way but you should know how to play it however one thing I'll say and I'm going to caution you here September onwards you may feel a bit of a monetary crunch for that to manage prioritize take care of your loose ends or the projects I won't say this is not the year to dream 
and not do something your energies are in different directions because rahu is suddenly gives you the jackpot and delusion so what you want do is come out of it get realistic and put your efforts into one direction rather than multiple places otherwise you can expect support from your team as well if you are ready and if you start supporting your team and pivot away from only focusing upon yourself or once you have made an opinion then you can switch rather let's collaborate now coming up my bonus tip which you do not want to miss so far we discussed your career so far we discussed your relationships health and money i would also like to share here that this year being technology related the energy astrology spirituality fields and writing media will thrive so if you are associated great because this is a year you will have that zing in your life because six will support you and there is a way how you can harness by giving support as well now for the affirmation particularly for you you can write this every day 11 times in a notebook or a diary either before going to bed or when you get up in the morning or you can chant 11 times by looking into your eyes as you look at yourself in the mirror i am grateful for security and guidance in my life i am grateful for security and guidance in my life you will feel the support that you need it will also give you that flexibility to look at others from their perspective as well overall a good year for you i hope you enjoyed this episode do share and wishing you all here a very very happy new year stay safe and stay blessed